Check out these very old and chilling black and white photos that have been hidden away for ages since your great granny and poppy days. The photos that no one wants to talk about. Are they just as creepy and horrifying in color as they are in black and white? If you have historical knowledge and details about any of these photos, please share them in the comment section down below. Let us know if this is in fact one of your old creepy ass uncle who always likes to sit alone in the corner of the room during each family reunions. Say hello to Satan's sweet little princess. She had refused to be baptized that day, gave the birdie to the preacher and told him to F off. What an angel. Fortunately, she looks even sweeter colorized. No way in hell is this your average honky-tonk gathering. No matter what color hoods they be wearing, I believe that would be the last place on earth that a brother wanna be caught up in. Well, that's if you're not Clayton Bigsby. Now it's a bit clearer to see that they look like a bunch of lovely clowns and witches. The day when I become a vegetarian is the day when my butcher looks like this guy. Thanks but no thanks, I'll be having a salad today please. Looks even more like a pig's head when colorized. That's one pig that will surely make you squeal. Hey babe, what do you want to dress up as for Halloween this year? I don't know, what about a weasel? No comment. All I can say is, those ain't my grandparents. You've all heard of the saying, if it looks like a weasel, dressed like a weasel, and no matter if it's colorized or black and white, then it's probably your grandparents. Talk about some maximum creepiness please. F some freaking candies, give these little zombie Indians and squire each a handful of TLC. I guess this is the result of what happens when that butcher had sex with Leatherface. Holy crap, my left nut. Seriously, would you have opened your doors if you would have known that these three little things were on the other side? Talk about maximum chicken skin on this left nut. Sorry. This reminded me of the time when I was fooling around with a gal who was cross-eyed. When it was time for knocking some boots, it was like being in a ping-pong match, the way them eyeballs was darting back and forth. Nonetheless, creepy. such a relief to see that they're not carrying burning torches and pitchforks. Surprisingly, the colored version simply looks like dumbass senior and dumbass junior as carrying along and having a good time. This looks futuristic for a black and white photo particularly with the aviation eyewear and jackets. Not too sure about that donkey though.
What's scary about this photo is that these kids appear to be alone in the hood. They are raising their hands because they are trying to not get popped by the police. This is the result you get after Michael Myers had sex with Chucky. You get this big bitch, Santa's worst nightmare. Yeah, still freaking creepy. Did someone say, party at Michael Jackson's house? Unfortunately the Neverland Ranch is closed for business. You freaks will have to find your own rides. What is it with these little bastards and the Neverland Ranch? First, they burn down the car. What's next? Will it be grandma's wooden legs? Screw that. You all will need to find a new babysitter. That is some spooky dooky ass baby. I don't care how old that little ish is, but that thing needs a goddamn leash. I bet the colorization should make it look more cuddly. What do you guys think? Relative to the time period and the available resources, I believe the creepiness of the masks in this photo is quite remarkable. I admire the simplicity of the olden days. Nowadays, costumes comes with glitter and rhinestones and pets be sporting Gucci and Louis. Back in those days, there were no child labor laws. Children were cheap replacements for scarecrows. Yo mama so fat, she has more rows of spare tires than the Michelin man. Growing up as a child, it had never crossed my mind that I would ever dress up or wear any costume that resembles or made me look like one of my aunties. If you had an ugly ass aunt, you would understand. This is Big Bird's luckiest day. Please, allow me to introduce you to Bird Bitch. Like and subscribe.